Curious about the truth behind Primal Queen? Let's hear what a medical expert has to say. Of Curly Anderson, Trump Medicine, Obesity Medicine here. Let's talk about this new product out there called Primal Queen. So here it is, Primal Queen. So oh, I like their branding. We're gonna review this from a physician standpoint, scientifically. I might comment on their marketing of business here. I think they do a pretty good job marketing this. They're being selective with it, saying this is only for women. Pretty cool. And they actually have a little something on their website about not being for men. And so when you look at this clinically studied, okay, we'll talk about their claims here about improved energy, hormonal imbalance, and higher satisfaction with their cycle and whether or not I would recommend this to my patients. Okay. So here's their claim, right? This is a anti big pharma and anti food industry play. And so yeah, with the caveman used to eat organs and we're not eating enough organs. And if you can't eat organs because it just feels bad, let's get down to the actual data. They got a bunch of testimonials, which is common in the nutrient industry. And here's their big thing, right? So check this out. All right, so you're basically, this product is dried or powdered beef liver, heart, kidney. And the thing that makes it a woman versus man issue is because, oh, okay, they're going to take, you're gonna dry out some uterus and powder it, dry out some fallopian tubes and ovaries, and somehow that's going to be beneficial only to women and not guys. Okay, they show the process of making these. And here's the nice thing that they put in here, some other testimonials. They actually did a link to some of their quote clinical trials. And that's nice. I would go down to this part. What does the product label say? So when it's non-specific, you can see here bovine, cow, uter, cow, ovary, cow, kidney, cow, heart, cow, liver. They actually did a third party testing that you could download and it'll tell you what's actually in it. So let's get into that. And if you look here on their results, so they send it to a third party to be tested to say it's a clean product. They sent it to this company called Eurofin. This is actually a really good objective way to analyze this product. And I'm glad they did it. And you can see this report was in April, 2025. And it looks like this is a real company. And went and searched Eurofin and confirmed the person who signed this report. Okay, does not have arsenic Academy. This is just a reference. All right, now take a look what's interesting in this report. They're selling this as a carnivore play, but here's the interesting part, guys. Look at the carbohydrate calculation. This is 83% carbs. The sample they sent in was 60 capsules. So they took the 60 capsules, broke them up. So there's 411 calories of energy in there and 84% of that is carbs. Now keep that in mind. So if we divide this by 60, each capsule has around six to seven calories and multiply that around 80 to 90%. So you're getting about five calories per pill and you're supposed to take it one pill at a time. So you're actually getting a carbohydrate boost. And in their clinical trial, 68% improved energy. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So I would say I agree with that because you're eating carbohydrates, it's like drinking juice. So you're going to get five calories of energy. Cool. Reduce hormonal imbalance. They didn't show that. They didn't show any actual estrogen or progesterone levels in their study. What's cool about this product is their claims about having some vitamins and so forth. Yeah, you know what? There are some vitamins in there that you usually don't get if you're eating fast foods and so forth. So they have some B6 in there. This did have a little bit of crude fat in there, riboflavin, they got some iron in there. This is a poor iron food. So even though it's got beef liver, there's not really much iron. There's some zinc in there. Great. So a little bit of zinc in there, folic acid. Okay. You can take folic acid, niacin, that's B3. There's your B12. So you get a little tiny dose of B12 with it. I like to put my patients like on 5,000 international units of B12 retinol. So you get some vitamin A, there you go. Getting some good eye stuff in there. Cleanliness. So is there any listeria? Is there any mold negative on the mold? There's no E. coli in it. So is it clean? Yes, I would say this is a clean product. It's safe to take from a safety standpoint. That's what this particular batch said. So you can say this batch that they sent in was clean. That's how you can interpret these labs. And this is all public information, so you can look at it yourself and analyze it. What I found was interesting is that this was a, quote, primal play, right? You go, it's all about the meat, all about the meat, and end up actually being high carb. So this is a high carb, so I'm like, that kind of makes sense for the energy. And this is there, this was a triple blind is what they called it, in other words. And they tell you the definition, check out this graph here. 
So first of all, this study was not published. It's not been peer reviewed. This is an internal study that they did so they can claim it was in a clinical trial. Sure, if they followed the IRB and they claim they did, it's not peer reviewed. Number one, one red flags, there's no p-value. The p-value is the stat for significance. Why is there not a p-value on there? Because I suspect that it was not statistically significant. In other words, placebo and the experimental group were the same. And I suspect at the end of the day, this is the placebo play. Maybe you get a little bit of boost of energy. Therefore, it was equivalent to placebo using this MSQ score, okay, which is a subjective score to say, did you feel better with it or not? Increased cycle satisfaction. So they didn't really give me data on that. What does that really mean? Satisfaction, uh, probably some score. And then claimed that there's some sort of hormone and they didn't show me placebo. They didn't show me any p-values in here. So Basically, they ran a trial just so that they could say they ran a trial and it was a negative trial. None of these graphs are very clear about what's placebo or not on it. And then it's all basically a hyperbole of testimonials. This is not appropriate in a scientific write-up. So this appears to be a scientific write-up, but it's actually not. And they give you a little study analysis here to say what they did to get that statistical analysis and they didn't need it. What's missing in here is their claim about this hormonal imbalance. What does that mean? What's the definition of a hormonal imbalance? This is one thing that as a physician scientist, I always find comical and also a little bit upsetting is these claims out there. This will fix your hormones. There's a lot of hormones. Most women are probably gonna talk about their estrogen level and their progesterone level. They didn't show any levels of that in this study. So we didn't see that, first of all, what are we trying to address? Do we need more estrogen, do we need less estrogen? Do we need more progesterone, do we need less progesterone? Are we working on timing of it? And none of that was addressed here. So there's not even a progesterone or a estrogen level in this study. Higher satisfaction with their cycle, that was a subjective survey, but there was no p-value that reached significance. At the end of the day, is this a safe product, safe nutrient, safe supplement that women can take. It's completely a play for women, which I think is a genius business and marketing play. Put pink on it. We already know there's a pink tax that women will pay more for products for exactly the same product as men. So is it a market play? I think the business people were genius on this. Is there a medical need for this product? I would say no. If you want the vitamins, you can get that through the other way. Is there a boost in energy, what they reported here? That makes sense. If you're taking a pill that has about five calories of carbs, are you going to feel like you get a little energy boost? Yeah, go a couple of Jolly Ranchers and you probably get that same energy boost. So I would agree with that. If at the end of the day, you've got some extra money, if you're a woman looking at this and you swear by it and you believe, I think it's safe. And so for those women and my patient who brought this to me, if you like spending money on this and you know what, it makes you feel better and it may be completely placebo, then I would say continue with the product from a safety standpoint, at least that batch that they're producing this very cleanly. This falls into the category of, is it placebo and beneficial? The answer is yes, it's placebo. They even admitted in their last part of their study where it says why this matters. They actually said they did not reach statistical significance. And then they added some lines on there, but all the customers taking the product had great positive reviews, which is not the scientific way of assessing the effectiveness. So if you like paying for $33, $35 placebo, it makes you feel better because it's peak and you get some uterus ovary and all that other stuff with it, and then I'd say continue it because it's not gonna harm you from what I can tell. So I think it's safe from that standpoint. Is there a benefit from internal medicine or medicine standpoint with this supplement? The answer is no, there's no benefit. If you like taking placebo products, this is probably a very safe placebo product to overpay for in my opinion, but the value of any product is dependent on the person purchasing it. If you are doing well with the product and it makes you subjectively feel better, then I would say continue with it.